This year, and that was one thing the wife tried to make was a dinner bell. Really? Couldn't get the bands really good. Oh, really? And you can see I made a little template. Yeah, yeah. As I showed her that. I said, he's all set up for it. That gets, it kind of helps you with your math, you know, because. You got a video. And it's 30 degrees, by the way. If you ever want to make a dinner bell, it's 30, 30, and 30. 30. Okay. And that makes your uh, dinner bell. But uh, you can pre do your math on a piece of wood. That's all I did. Stuck these in and uh, put something on to keep from burning up. You know what you could do, too? The, uh, the little. Uh, triangular warning signs you put in the back of the oh, yeah. peanut wagon. That's a good it's idea. identical to that. Oh, that you know, you trace that. Yeah. Yeah, you can just trace one out. Yeah. All your mask already done. Yeah. And now you can see we got this pot right where we want to bend at. So this is going to be the dinner bell. We'll bring this on around. I'll put my other glove on. I'm going to set this up here. Just like that. We'll bend that right around that by hand. It bends just like peanut butter <laughs> or like plastic. That was fast. Yeah. <laughs> we mess with ours, right? Makes a nice dinner bell. Yeah.
Yeah. Now this is where what really makes the green good. It's still hot, but when we quench it in water, that's, that'll harden that steel. <coughs> As it is, it won't ring very good. But you know, if you were to just bend this without heating it and quenching it, it it'll it'll ring, but not as good. This part is the steel up. And this is how they made them in the old days, old chuck wagon bells. They make nice gifts. Oh, definitely. And a lady came by, she wanted four right away, so <laughs> I only had two, so I had to make two more. And I got actually another lady wants a fifth one, so I got to make that. All That's right. What we're doing today is making dinner bells. All right. <laughs> nice. Nice. Cool. Yeah, see, and then the, where'd the <clears throat> ringer go? She's already painted the ringer. Oh, but there's the part that rings and hangs off of it. Oh, what we need to do is make some leather for these and get them painted as soon as they dry. They're a little wet still. But... Now, couldn't you uh, couldn't you quench it in uh, in oil to get a little protective coating? You can, you can, yes sir. And actually that's a slower quench, uh, oil is. Uh, brine is your next slowest and the quickest quench is water. And that actually is your hardest quench. If you want it hard to ring real well, you probably want to use water if you're using a dinner bell. Uh, an oil quench would be, uh, now to make it black, you, if you don't want to paint it, you could use beeswax. And beeswax, you heat it up, I got some in here. And you actually put the beeswax on it. That'll blacken it and protect it from rusting. Oh, that's good The beeswax enough. goes into the pores and yeah. it kind of helps with the wax so it'll beat up for, for you. Cool. So, but that's the other thing is uh, actually all my oyster